Look at me with a poor little deuce showing. Better jump on the bandwagon, guys. Looks like I'm going down fast. <laughs> Hit me. All right. Oh, bust. Looks like you need another one. Need another Ooh. Ooh, that's... That's rotten luck, gentlemen. Yeah, Looks it like is. I win one more time. I called Colton. I hope you're satisfied. Did you tell him the truth? No. Then I feel terrible about it. Well, I told you what to say. You always have an answer for everything, don't you? Well, if I did, we wouldn't be in our predicament, would we? Why don't you quit tormenting yourself and just relax? Oh, how sweet of you to suggest that. Here we are. Two mm. specials. Don't even ask me what's in them. Well, it smells interesting. Well, wonders ever cease. I don't think I'm hungry. Well, if you don't eat, then I don't eat. You have to eat. You have to keep up your strength. What for? Just a broken down, useless cast off that no one cares about. All right. All right. You win. Hey, who do you think you're conning? You and that broad are working together. Hey, why don't we just, just cool out here? You got the wrong idea. Nobody's kind in anybody. Y yeah, yeah, just relax. I I'll buy you a drink on the house. What you drink and on the you house? look at my cards and signal him, don't you? Maybe we ought to skip dessert and get out of here, huh? I think that's a good idea. You saw him, you saw him cheat, didn't you? Yeah, so you cheat. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Break free in the clenches, guys, guys. Do something. Hey, do something. Well, I'm watching you. Hey, watch the lady, fellas. Cheated me and I want my money back. Hey, that's a nasty accusation. I'm offended. What? You're gonna be more than offended. Bang! All right. Now what if I call the cops, huh? <laughs> We're in big trouble now. And I ripped my nylons on top of everything else. Be positive, baby girl. Did you see him? Is he going out? Yeah, that's what makes me nervous. They were laughing, but no trouble. You too. Come here. I told you. Hey, hey, hey. Keep smiling. Pretend it's your birthday, all right? You know, they told me what happened. Uh, said uh, you set them up to lose. Who, me? No way. No, but this is just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I misunderstood when... Uh, I thought you two could handle it. what I tell you about Con and the customers? Well, they wanted to play. They wanted to play. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, but uh, you know the rules, huh? No gambling. You're right. You're right, Marty. I'm from now on in the future. There ain't gonna be any future. Not for you two, in any case. You're both out of here. Hey, what about the money you Yeah, what about us? the money? That, that's oh, like oh, severance oh, pay? Oh, well, uh... You know, that'll just about pay for what's broken. Now get out of here, the both of you. What did I tell you? His loss. His loss? Pick up the... Pick up. Well, I'll remember that next time I want to eat something. Thank God there's a drugstore in this town. Be careful. I just need a little rest. No, you need to change that bandage. I can do that later. Why didn't you go to the hospital in the first place like Tony wanted you to? What, is this all this fun? You think this is fun? Listen, I know you've got a, a bus to catch. I know you want to get to your grandmother, so why don't you just start getting ready, okay? There's still time. Well, not according to that clock I saw out in the hall. You're running a little tight for time. No. No, I'm not going to leave here until you change that bandage.
Who wants to work in a dump like this anyway? Well, I would say that it's better than living on the streets, Dad. <laughs> no way. No cardboard condo for Decker Moss. Uh-uh. I'm heading straight for the rainbow. How in the world did I ever get hooked up with you, huh? Lady Luck deals the hand, little lady. All we do is play and pray. Hey, it's yesterday's news. We're gonna think about the future. What do you think I'm doing, huh? Check this out. You remember this this paper some guy brought in here yesterday? Poor Charles Gazette, yeah. Yeah, well, it's in upstate New York, and uh, I've been there. Yeah, you're bragging or complaining? Well, I'm reading this article on the Port Charles Society, and in there is a, about a guy I know who's buying a house on an island and turning it into a hotel. A hotel? Yeah. Hotel means people. People, opportunity. Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say, what's this guy's name? Well, his name is Ned Ashton. I met him when I was bumming around Europe. He was on some holiday from, from his Swiss boarding school or something. He was nice. We, uh, we kind of connected. Yeah, how well did you guys kind of connect? Well, unlike you, Decker, Ned likes me for the way I think and the way I do things. He calls me a free spirit. He likes you for the way you think. Yeah. Well, he could be an easy tap then. Well, at least he could get us a job. Why not? We're a class act, aren't we? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Poor Charles might be real interesting. <laughs> Thank you for fixing me lunch. Well, somebody's got to cook for you because there's nobody here to do it. Oh, Ma, that's cold. Thanks for reminding me. I could bite my tongue. I'm so sorry. Will you be all right? Yeah, as soon as you leave, I'll be fine. I'm kidding. Sorry. Listen, I've got a good idea about all this. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. What if Frisco did leave town like he said he would? Mm -hmm. And Tony knew about it. And he was just so torn up about it, he couldn't even talk to us. Now, we've gone over that. this. It, it is a theory, but I don't buy it. Not for a minute. Oh, sugar, try to hold a good thought, will you? I'm going to do better than that. I am going to go to Dr. Steve Hardy and ask him for a couple of days off. What do you think of that? Why? Well, I just thought that maybe it might be a good idea if I get myself on a plane to Texas and meet Felicia at the train platform. Oh. And nothing you can say or do will change my mind. You ready to go? Oh, God. I thought so. Bus. Forget the bus. Oh, I knew it. You've got a fever. Look, I'm gonna be fine. Go on, get out of here. You're supposed to make that bus. Get moving. No. No, I'm not going anywhere until you're better. So you can just quit giving me orders. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 